Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you guys. So in this video I'm going to show you how I made my toddler a My Maths Busy Book. And the reason, first of all, that I chose to make a Maths Busy Book is because, as you all know, Maths is so important for children and whether you're homeschooling or sending them to formal school, they'll end up having to do Maths when they get there. So if they are at home and either they're in nursery, kindergarten or they're even preschool age, it's a really good idea to start getting them familiarised with Maths concepts to really build on that knowledge later on. Right, what we need for making this folder, what I've done is actually gotten myself an A4 ring binder, which is really easy to get, um, a laminating machine and of course a printer to print out the sheets. So it's really easy to do this yourself at home as I've done here. So what I've done is just printed off lots of sheets which are really age appropriate and in line with the EUI FS and if you live in the United Kingdom that's the early years foundation stage curriculum which is what children access when they're at nursery and when they go into reception. So what I've started off with is made her a really nice cover, I've laminated it, she'll put her name here just so that again she can see the word maths and she can familiarise herself with that little bit of vocabulary every day um, and then I've put the sheets all in so they're in a nice safe place and I can keep track of her learning. What I've started off with is tracing numbers. So these are a series of sunflower sheets. And what we've got is trace number one and count the sunflower. So here's one sunflower. So all we'll do is get a dry white pen and get her to practice doing number one on this sheet. And then just sort of counting one sunflower every time she does it. And that'll just help them start off in a really nice, easy, child-friendly way to start joining the numbers. Now these sheets are really cute, they're really nice because on the next page you've got two sunflowers so all you do is trace number two and count two sunflowers, one, two. And it's just sort of embedding that idea as well for the child that two is not just an arbitrary number, two means that you've got two objects that match the number and that's something that they'll start learning later on but you can start introducing to them now. So we've got all of these sort of tracing numbers sheets, three sunflowers, four, five, all the way up to number nine, which is over here. Once she's done all of this, then I've created some further number worksheets. So on this page we've got some further number worksheets, so trace the numbers and paste one sun above the cloud. So what we've got here is showing the child the number again. Now we've got an introduction to the written word to match the number, so they can see one means um, one written here. And we've got the dot to dots again, so all they'll have to do is join the dots to make number one. And now we've got a fun little activity. Now I've got my sheets laminated so that I can reuse them, but you can just have either another copy or not laminate this sheet and then just cut them out so the child can then cut um, and stick the relevant picture where they need to. Deliberately we've got more pictures than you need and that's so that they can actually see that even though they've got three they only need one so it's about um, a little bit of comprehension as well as about following instructions and it's about understanding that you might have more than you need but you only need to count one so you'll see for all of the pictures for this activity that there's more than the child needs but they'll have to um, count out the right amount. So we've got that for number two as well. So trace the numbers and paste two socks on the hanger. So they'll do the same thing. They can colour this in, look at the, the written word and um, just join the dots and then cut out the pictures and see if they can just choose two from the four and stick them on the hanger. Video. So we've got this for number three, four five some really nice little pictures all the way up to number 10 which is the cookies in the jar picture so once they've completed that activity this time we've got to count the fruit how many fruits do you count write the number in the box next to it again teaching the child that the number has to correspond with the same number of objects so they would just count one, two, three, four, five. they might need your support for this you might even want to dot the correct um, number formation in the box if you want to if they're quite young or they don't fully understand the concept but again it's a really fun activity to work through um, to teach them numbers 
and then we've got a similar one count and color you might not want to laminate this one or you might just want to keep one laminated one um, for reference or for photocopying however you want to do it um, I've just kept them all together in my folder so I know where they are and you can get different colored um, wipeable pens as well if you don't want to um, and you can get different coloured pens as well if you want to stick to the lamination. So again, colour the correct number of animals. So we've got two, so that you just expect them to colour two. And you could guide them through it. Then we introduce them to shapes. Again, this is part of the curriculum, which they'll need to know later on in their schooling. And it's a really nice, fun, easy way to introduce them to shapes. So we've just got three squares, three circles, three triangles. And they've got, again, instructions to follow. So colouring the squares blue, circles red and triangles green. So that once they're finished, they can see that all the squares are the same. They've got the same properties. So have the circles and so have the triangles. Then we carry on looking at shapes. So this time I've created a trace and colour in the shapes below sheet for her. So that she can get her pen and have a go at sort of joining the dots and making the shapes for herself. And we've got an introduction to some new shapes now so they can see that shapes are actually everywhere all around us. And you can even extend this activity. You might even ask the child to find objects around them or in the room that match these shapes. So find something that's a square, find something that's a circle. You've got some new shapes like a star, pentagon, um, hexagon, etc. Now this one gets a little bit harder, so they've got these shapes on their own, um, which you can again, they, they're allowed to trace it, you can use it however you want or they can just colour it in. Then they can join the dots to create their own circle and see if they can finish filling in sort of the other half of these shapes to create a shape independently. Depending on where they are in their learning, we've I've just you know added some sheets that are a little bit more tricky. Then I've just added a little fun sheet here. I can draw circles, help Brownie the bear to blow bubbles by tracing the circles. The reason I've chosen this worksheet is because you always probably, most children would do this activity at least um, in their childhood a few times, blowing bubbles, and we all love that activity. It's something that we use in therapy with the children, so it would be something that they're quite familiar with. So this is important because it's then getting them to realise actually these shapes are in the real world around us and we use them every day when we're playing as well. So that's a nice little activity there. Then I've created a colour that shape worksheet. Let's decorate the pizza. Again, this steps up a little bit in terms of difficulty. This time they have to follow the colour guide and colour the shapes. So all the squares have to be green. When they've coloured them in, they have to write the correct number in the box below here and that's another way to show them that they can find shapes anywhere even in food so that's a nice little shapes activity then i've created some count and mark sheets using zoo animals so we start off with the smaller numbers what number one number three so all they have to do is circle the correct number for this activity again helping them understand that numbers correspond to real um, life object sort of representations and we've done that for um, quite a few different numbers within 1 to 10 and lots of different animals just to make it really fun for them. Now the last sheet that I've created for her is a six sided dice. This is where she'll have to cut and paste with my help to make a colourful cube to help develop number concepts. So um, all I'm going to do is cut it out for her, get her to fold the dice and then there are lots of board games we've got lots of board games at home you can even find some online if you haven't got any where you use the dice and it's again just cementing that idea in their minds that one actually means number one two means two etc um, and that this is just another fun way to do that so i hope you found that useful and that gave you some ideas if you do want to just use the same sheets that I've used that I've pre-made for you, you can just click on a link in the description box below and purchase them from my Etsy shop. Otherwise, feel free to take these ideas and make your own Matt's Busy Book at home. I hope you have lots of fun using it. Thank you for watching.